Chat, I got something I want to talk about today. Godzilla or King Kong, chat? Because I got to set the record straight. Because if there's any, if there's, if there's anybody in this chat that seriously believes that King Kong could beat Godzilla, I need your actual reasoning right this fucking minute. I'm scrapping everybody that's <laughs> Godzilla. King Kong is ugly. You're just picking him based off of aesthetics. <laughs> he has Stormbringer. He has Stormbringer. You think a monkey with a hammer is gonna beat fucking Godzilla? King of the monsters. Godzilla got no hands. Godzilla been giving niggas hands for months, for years, for literal decades. Kong got that plot armor? No, he's not. He don't have no plot armor. Funny monkey. You're lost. You're all lost. Listen, chap. If they show you in the trailer Kong whooping ass, that's only because Godzilla's gonna go actually stupid crazy. Kong actually won against Godzilla once. Yeah, on some freaky deaky plot armor bullshit. Godzilla is 400 feet tall, right? And they were like, oh, Kong, he's not even full size yet. Oh, Kong is blah, 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 blah. He's going to be a great big monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me tell you what Godzilla is, right? After we, after the United States dropped bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they made Godzilla as a, rep as a representation of the nuclear destruction of the world. A literal walking nuke that goes around and just fucks everything up. King Kong is just a big fucking monkey that, that directors were like, big monkey? And everybody was like, yes, yes. that's it. That's it. One. And you're gonna sit here and tell me that King Kong is gonna be Godzilla? Throwing shit is powerful? Godzilla can throw nuclear shit. That's even more powerful. But monkey, I don't care about monkey. Chat, do y'all know about Godzilla Earth, chat? So if y'all if y'all don't know, King Kong, this is the craziest, strongest King Kong they ever done built. This, this, this fucking monkey's on steroids. This is the most monkey you've ever, this is the most monkey you'll ever monkey in your entire life. This is nowhere near close to the strongest Godzilla that, that is, that exists. You know what I'm saying? Godzilla Earth is 3,000 feet tall. Or like one, I think 1,000 feet. He was so big and so nuclear that humanity had to get the fuck off the planet. They were like, we gotta go. He's so radi he's ra so radioactive and so built different that we gotta get off the planet. You ever seen King Kong make niggas leave the planet? No? Well, I got some news for you, buddy. Why didn't they just nuke it? He has absorbed nuclear. That's his, that's his passive. Yeah, King Kong lost to a plane, chat. A plane to hear and talk about. Oh, King Kong's my that's my king. Maybe you don't shut the fuck up. Godzilla nearly died in the last movie, though. Bit comfy. He was fighting like 10 dudes. He was getting jumped like it was a crip. Like it was a crip initiation. I would win. What would you do? Not a bowl of rice. Intervene. Oh, okay, damn. Never mind. My, my fault. They're gonna nerf Godzilla. That's that's the thing I hate. At the end of the day, chat. They have to nerf Godzilla and they got to buff King Kong for them to even remotely be in the same level of strength. So even if King Kong, even if King Kong is stronger and mo better, it doesn't fucking matter because they had to buff him and nerf the shit out of Godzilla. What I say, if King Kong goes Super Saiyan 4 in the movie, if he go, if he turns into Uzaru, then, then we might talk. Maybe it's already got brought up. But what about Kong and Zilla's credit scores? Those are, those are, those are monsters. TJ, they don't have credit scores because they're monsters. Can we talk about Batman versus Superman? There is no world. There's no legitimate world where Superman cannot find Batman and fucking murder him a hundred million different ways before Batman has time to think of a plan. Batman kicks Superman's ass. Here, listen, to, li here's the thing. Everyone always talks about prep time and blah, blah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, woo, woo. In an actual fight, in an actual fight chat, without all the bullshit comics bullshit, Superman is fucking up so many. You know how strong Superman was when they originally created him, by the way? That motherfucker had like every power. Every power. Plot armor? No. Superman is crazy. Chat, come on. 
And don't even talk about Superman. Uh, what's what's the golden Superman's name? Superman Prime, Superboy Prime, or some bullshit, where he spent ten thousand years in the sun. Superman Prime, one million. Don't even get me started on Superman Prime, one million. Batman is a smart human being. A smart human being. Superman is a nigga with every power on the face of the earth, whose only weakness is a rock. Can he be Goku? I don't know if Superman can be Goku. Not anymore. I used to say that Superman definitely could be Goku, but with Ultra Instinct, Goku's moving without even thinking about it. You know who can be both Superman and Goku, though? You know what I'm going to say? One Punch Man. Saitama can actually... Is probably the strongest character I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm serious. One Punch Man beats every character ever created. I'm not even shitting you. Maybe not like Dr. Manhattan who can just like turn him to nothing. But like you can't you can't even hit him, right? You can't even hit him. The nigga, a nigga kicked him to the moon. To the moon. And he shook that shit off. He got kicked to the moon and he got hit. And he was just like, he was like, damn, I just got kicked to the moon. I guess I gotta jump back to Earth. <laughs> like, what? What? Are you serious? And he's not even trying, bro. Name one time that Saitama was trying for real. It's it's literally in his nature to be unbeatable. Against Boros? No, he wasn't. He wasn't trying. He did one serious punch. He did one serious punch. What about Gru? He could freeze him and have his the minions fuck him? Well, Chad, we gotta understand that Gru is a whole different type of being entirely. My boy stole the moon. We can't beat Gru. That's not even, that's not even, that's not even right. Godzilla versus One Punch Man though. I'm sorry, but One Punch Man is, sh let me tell you how ridiculous the shit he did once. One time, bro, Saitama punched a regular regular punch and he punched through a dude and he made the rain go away. He punched the rain away from the city. Saitama gets destroyed by hitting character. Y'all are smoking the heaviest dick I've ever I've ever seen in my entire life. D's versus nuts. D's beats nuts every time. It's not even close. Saitama versus 50 Tyson. Well, 50 Tyson was born to be a ball player, so you know how that one's gonna go. Lord Light versus Fendi. Lord Light. Will's an OG. Sorry, Fendi. Beetlejuice versus Pierre. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Beetlejuice versus Pierre? Holy shit. I mean, it's gotta be Pierre, right? It's gotta be Pierre, right? Beetlejuice wins over Pierre? Oh, you guys are kidding me. It actually depends on what Pierre's uh, internet speed is. Me versus Ludwig. I'm fairly certain that I am in the top one percentile of streamers you cannot beat up. As far as like Twitch partners go, as far as like full-time streamers, I gotta be in the top 1%. I'd go far in a Twitch tournament arc. I think so too. Like off the top of my head, some people that I can't beat. I don't think I could beat Nick Merckx. They have to be full-time Twitch streamers. We're talking about just Twitch streamers. I don't think I could beat Tyler One. It'd be maybe if I trained for real. Clint Stevens, I, I'd hate to do it, but he would, he would get smoked. Mark, I don't know. RDC, he looked kind of built. U.S. presidents could I beat in a fight? All of them except Abraham Lincoln probably and Andrew Jackson. Jackson. FDR. FDR is getting his ass whooped. That boy is in a wheelchair. Mirrors Daquan. He has a disease, so I feel like, unfortunately. Hey, I leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up. 66, baby. Let's go.